Hey everybody, welcome back. So today we're going to look at how we create that scorecard that you need for your assignment. All right. And so when you're in your Power BI and, and looking at my workplace or home, it doesn't really matter. If you look along the left side here, you'll see the options available to you or you'll want to use the one called metrics to get to scorecards. When it refreshes, you might see like a new scorecard option here. If you don't have that, that's great. You can simply do a new scorecard by clicking on the green button on the right hand side. When you click on that new scorecard, you're going to be immediately introduced to some options that are available to you. First thing you'll notice in the scorecard screen is it's called an untitled scorecard. So you probably want to give it a title. Otherwise, it will save to uh, your workspace, but it will, will save to your workspace as an untitled scorecard. So let's just call this a practice scorecard. And then I can simply click away from it or hit enter and it will save it and then I can start building my scorecard. If you remember to build your scorecard, you actually need to uh, either put in manual data or connect it to a report that we previously created. So I um, showed you in class how to do that. I'll show you now just how to click to a report and I'm going to choose setup here for the current value and connect to data. Now, because we're going to connect two things and do a comparison, what I want to compare, just as I did in class, which I'll use the class data set for, is I want to take a look at the number of females that I promoted in my organization to ensure that I am starting to equalize between females promoted and males promoted. So the metric I'm going to look at first and foremost is female under college to see how many have been promoted. And... We are waiting. There we go. And I can unclick male, so I see only the females, at which point I can select my data set and I can decide that, hey, I have all the females that were promoted across all the departments. And so I want to take a look at all of them. And I click on the first one, hold down the control button, and then click all the other ones I want to add. And you'll notice that the box on the side is adding them up for me. When I'm done, I hit connect and it will actually load the value into the current value. And again, as I say, I want the current value because it tells me where we're at now. And then I want to set a target value. And that target value is going to be the male promotions I had. So the good thing is I can take a look at the exact same data set. So I go into setup, I go to connect to data. I choose the exact same report. Um, remember, I did mention that you can connect to almost any report that you want. But for the purpose of what I am doing, I'll use the exact same report. It will open it up the same way it did. And in here, instead of choosing college and female, I will look at the males. And you'll now see that my charts in a moment will update as well to reflect only the males that have been promoted with a college uh, education. Apparently, it's taking a bit of time. I do apologize for that. But there, as you can see, it's loaded now. And I do the exact same thing. I click on the first one, and then I hold down Control, and I click on each one that I want after that to add to the mix to make sure I get all the departments and so forth. I do the exact same thing I did with the females, and this will give me a sum of males that were promoted in this data set. I hit Connect again, at which point it will import the data into my scorecard. Now you'll see my current value and my next milestone is our different values. The current value is how many females have been promoted. The next milestone is equalizing them to males. So it shows me how many males have been promoted. And so what I want to then do is put alerts to this. And so I do that by looking at my status. And my status can say not started right now, but I can drop it down and choose manual statuses. But if you remember, what I prefer to do is set up some rules so it helps me understand. By setting up a rule, I can go in here and choose the value. I also have an option over date or value change. But for the purpose of what we're doing right now, value is fine. And if I see that value is greater than or equal to the, the, uh, the target value that we set. And so I look at percentage of target. So do I want it to be 100%? Yes, that's when I know if I hit 100%, I will be completed. All right. Otherwise, I can change status to I can go overdue behind, at risk, or on track. Uh, I'm going to choose at risk. So what it basically says is if my value is greater than or equal to 100, I've completed the task of equalizing these things. Otherwise, we're at risk of not accomplishing that. All right. Once I do that, I hit save. And you should see 
the rules start to come up. You'll notice right now I still can't save the uh, the the scorecard yet because I haven't, or sorry, the metric yet because I haven't given the metric a name. So what I'll need to do is title it. So uh, I'll tracking female slash male motion. All right, and that allows me now to track it. When I do that as soon as I want, uh, oh, just another point there, you can set start dates and due dates. This allows you to track it over a period of time. It will automatically fill it out with a year's gap, or sorry, a month's gap, uh, and you can change that manually. For the purpose of what we're doing, I won't bother changing the dates, but know that they're there. I hit save, and as soon as I hit save, it will resolve and let me know where I'm at. And so at this particular point, it says, hey, I am at risk because... We have done 502 of 969 promotions and it's due by April 17th. So we are working towards getting that done, but we're not there yet. All right. And so that's all you need to know to be able to do this, but you need to do more of them. So good luck.